Hi, welcome to DA Australia. Today I'd like to talk about prop bolts. We get quite a few phone calls from people want to know how tight they should do the prop bolts up, what kind of procedures to look at as far as uh, uh, the tension uh, uh, applied to the propeller and uh, how often they should check it. Well, pretty much as you can see, most of the patterns on uh, all the current crops of twins are usually a six bolt pattern. Uh, standard tension on a DA prop bolt is 80 inch pounds. Now you can use one of these little devices if you like, that's a uh, small tension wrench with uh, an allen key socket attached to it or you know you can lean on them fairly hard. Pretty much these things will take a fair amount of, a fair amount of tension. Reality is they need to be tight and you need to check them fairly often. Uh, I'll often run around checking mine every flight, every second flight. It's important that you check these quite often. Uh, quite a few times I decided I didn't need to check it because my carbon prop was uh, didn't feel like it was needing any tension and soon enough I lost $500 with a propeller and spinner off the front of my aeroplane. Now I've never broken another prop bolt ever since I've decided I should check them every flight so it's good policy to check your prop bolts quite regular. Now some of the, the problems we see uh, with prop bolts we'll get guys ring up and tell us oh, I broke all my prop bolts there's something wrong with the bolts. Bolts only break when they're loose. Now prop bolts will come loose and they'll all snap one after the other and this will all happen in one flight. Uh, reality is check them keep them tight. Now one of the reasons we do see them come loose is people will change props. Now these two props suit the same size motor 3210 28 and a half three blade. Now the difference in the thickness of these is three millimeters which doesn't seem like a lot but what can happen as you tension the bolts up it gets to the end of its thread and it sinks home. Now you're actually not tightening up the prop at all you're actually just tensioning the bolt against the end of the thread. Make sure your prop bolts are the proper length. Now this will change depending on your propeller so the bolt supplied by your manufacturer may not necessarily be short enough to suit whatever propeller you use. So please check them. This will make a, a bit of a difference. You'll notice that um, if you go to various brands of propellers they change quite a deal in the thickness of the hub. So check that. Make sure that's uh, correct. You may have to shorten your bolts or buy shorter bolts. Now bolts aren't expensive. They're about 65 cents a piece. Uh, we sell them here in lengths from 45 mil to 55 mil. Um, I change mine reasonably regular. Once a year, I'll throw them out and put a new set in. They do a, they do a sturdy job hanging on to the front there, so don't be shy. They're not that expensive. Uh, the other thing you want to keep your eye on with wooden propellers, for instance, I'm not sure whether Mark can uh, can actually zoom in on this. You'll see on this wooden propeller, you can see where the prop washer itself has embedded itself into the timber. Now, wooden propellers, you need to check these to make sure your bolts are tight very often. More often than a carbon prop, every flight I'll be checking the thing. Uh, you might not think you might think this is a little bit of nonsense, but uh, once you spat your propeller off a few times, you'll, you'll find it's quite expensive to do and you'll be wanting to check them more often. As I said, bolts aren't expensive. Get yourself a couple of spare sets, get a couple of different lengths if you like to make sure that they're right. Now, I get asked a couple of questions about whether you should put spring washers or Loctite on these little puppies. No. Like we don't run any spring washers on there. I've seen washers underneath them to pack them out. Don't have a problem with that as long as they're nice and flat and a reasonable quality. Uh, as for Loctite, it's not necessary. Don't do it. Just make sure they're tight. 